channel my name's Sarah and this is like so amazing firstly I'm gonna start with an apology sorry that I've been away so long it's just been crazy busy in the shop and I just haven't really had time to sit down and film any videos but here I am so today's video is going to be a bumper one and it's going to be all the things that I've made during September and October so quite a lot of things to share with you some things that I'm really really pleased with but yeah it's good to be back to it uh, and I hope you enjoy the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you aren't already and I will crack on. So I'm gonna start with what I'm wearing and it is a perfect winter mate. It is the Linden sweatshirt, the Grainline Studios Linden sweatshirt, always a favorite of mine. I've got several of them at home. So if you can see this fabric, it's navy, but then it's got sort of rainbow colored sparkles running through it really subtle they don't come out in the wash as well which is perfect and then I've just done it with a navy ribbing on the cuffs and the hem and the neckband which worked out really nicely I think it looks really nice and professional and then I have added these glittery stars so they are holographic as well and I cut them out using my Cricut machine and then just ironed them on and it's Happy Fabric Iron on Vinyl so I can leave a link to them as well for you but I just think it just adds a little bit of interest and I think it kind of works well as a Christmas jumper as well maybe but I've been wearing it since I made it literally it came straight off the sewing machine and straight on kind of haven't taken it off much since but yeah I love it and it's also a really nice fleecy sweatshirting on the back So I've got my list here. So this is my Pink Coat Club notepad, which I love. So next up is my rainbow Stevie top. So this is the Tilly and the Buttons pattern. I've only ever made it as a dress before. Quite fancy making the top version out of this amazing Lady McElroy rainbow clouds cotton lawn. It's a little bit creased. That might be a theme here. And um, straight out the wash. <laughs> so there we go, that's the front love it and then the surprise is on the back so i did the yokes in a navy lace so it's got that nice little sheer quality to it and then i added a navy grogain ribbon for the tie and i really love it i can't wait for it to be warm enough to wear this again so I did do a blog post on this, just the changes I made and how to kind of get that neckline sitting correctly without the facings. So I will leave you a link for that one. So I made another sparkly jumper and this is the Nina Lee Southbank sweater. And again, with that one, I've only made the dress before, but I quite fancied giving the medium length sweatshirt a go. And I made it from this really slinky drapey jersey, which if you can see, it's got gold shimmers running through it. And we are out of this at the moment. I'm gonna see if we can get it back in again, but I'm not sure if we can. If we can, I will do though. And yeah, it's a really different look with it being such a slinky drapey jersey but I really love it so I'm going to pop a picture in for you as well and then another Nina Lee pattern the Carnaby is one of my favorites of hers and we had a delivery of this beautiful ruby star fabric so it's this stunning color so it's a cross between rust and mustard so I've called it rusted and it's got these beautiful female faces all looking up towards the sun it's got a really nice story behind it if you look at the ruby star website and there's a different colorway of it i'm not sure if it's, that's going to pick up but you can see there it's got the white faces on the cream background 
so I chose to do the facings in the contrast just because I thought it would be a little bit interesting and I also did the huge pockets in the contrast fabric as well and then I don't tend to put the zip in the back so I do a little button back with a little thread chain or a little ribbon as I've got on here because I think that works really well. I did bias tape on the hem just again to give it a little bit of interest but yeah really pleased with this one and I think it will work well in the summer but I've been wearing it over like grey cable knit tights and a grey polar neck and it's been working really well. So nice versatile dress this one. We've still got some of these fabrics in so I'll link them for you below. Now you may know that I have an absolute love affair with the Tilly and the Buttons indigo pattern. I did think initially it might not be for me, quite loose, I'm not really used to that silhouette but I really really love it. So I have now made three so I made my original tester version and then I made a, another version out of this amazing leopard print. So it's a grey leopard print with kind of bright pops of colour in it. And again I've kept it the same, same kind of fluted sleeves, pockets and just I had, didn't add any of the extra ruffles into it. So yeah, I've made this version, which I love. And then I've made a version out of this large print floral rayon. I think it really lends itself to a rayon. It has that nice movement and drape. So yeah, not much else to say about these. I just love them and I've been wearing them loads. Again, they work really well layered up with thick tights and boots and a big cardigan. I was a little bit worried about the bigger sleeves not going well under a cardigan, but actually they're absolutely fine. They don't have all lumps and bumps everywhere. So. Yeah, really pleased with these. So, we all know that I'm obsessed with cats. But I do have a bit of a rule that I love cats, but I don't necessarily like cats on things. You know, the really twee kitten notebooks and paraphernalia that you can get. But <laughs> I made an exception for this fabric when it came in because it's so ridiculously over the top and cute. So, all these cats. So I thought, yeah, I'm going to make a Cleo dress out of that. So, this is mine, and I have perfectly pattern matched the front pocket. So, that one is all bang on. Then, if you can see these disco black glittery buttons I've added. And then, on the inside, I have just finished the facing with some black satin bias tape. Because I think that gives a really nice effect. And I've done a sort of knee length version, but without the split. So, yeah, love this one. Then I had some scraps left over from a couple of the projects. So I made this little makeup pouch because I needed something in my handbag just to keep all my makeup in one place. And I used the cat fabric on the outside. I just used some old denim that I had left over and some little ribbons for the tabs. And then I used the Ruby Star fabric on the inside and I think they go really nicely together actually. So very practical make but one that I use every day. Now my next make is something that's quite plain for me but it's something that's necessary. So I sing in a choir and we perform wearing back clothes. So I wanted just to add a few more bits into my wardrobe that I could wear when we perform. So it is, I'm not even sure if you'll be able to see it on camera here, but it's the Sirocco jumpsuit from Deer and Doe, and I've just made it in this amazing black modal French terry. Um, it didn't quite have the right stretch on the cross grain, but the other direction did have enough stretch. So all I did was I cut the waistband bit, which is the only bit that needs that stretch, just on the other way, and it's worked out perfectly. So sewed it all up on the overlocker. It's a really quick, easy make actually, once you get going. So yes, love this one. And yes, we'll be wearing this for choir performances. It's probably a little bit too plain black for me to wear every day, just because I have a cat. You know, cat hair gets on everything. <laughs> probably is loads on there now. But yeah, it is really nice and comfy. So I've now got it in a plain navy and a plain black but you know they're nice staple pieces to wear so happy with that one 
And then the final thing I'm gonna show you is the dress I made for Halloween. So we had a Halloween party in the shop and I made this so over it Elsie dress. So I've made it before and knew that I really loved the style of it. And I bought this duvet cover from Asda, I think it was, um, a few years ago with the sole purpose of making a Halloween dress out of it and just hadn't got around to it, but I knew exactly what style I wanted in my head. And because we were throwing a party this year, I decided I'll go ahead and make that dress. So it is quite a fine fabric. It's a really nice soft cotton, but it's a little bit see-through. So I lined the whole thing with cotton poplin. And what I love about this pattern is that it's got a facing as well as the lining so the facing and lining attach and theoretically it's only a lined bodice but I lined the whole thing so I did make some changes to the pattern firstly when it came to cutting out I made sure that I because I had so much fabric to work with I placed certain cats in certain places and I think my favorite thing is this pleat at the front where it's got a little cat on the inside of it um, I added pockets because we all need pockets and what I did was I treated the outer fabric and the lining fabric on the skirt as one. So I basted them along the top and then pleated them as one and I left the very ends free so that I could install the zip just to the outside and still keep the two skirt layers separate at the bottom and then I just sort of worked that out as I went through the rest of the pattern and then I just slip stitched the lining down to the skirt on the inside as well but yeah it's a really fun dress it was lovely to wear it's a shame it didn't get more wear this year but I'm sure I'll bring it out again for next Halloween and um, I'm gonna pop a picture in that Stacy of Notions of Dressmaker took of me where she magically caught the dress in full flight So that's everything I'm going to share with you for now. We're at the end of November nearly. I've got more things to share with you that I made this month, but I will leave them for another video. Otherwise, this is going to be hours long. Anyway, I will see you all soon. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye bye.